In this video, as part of the Canon C100 video series through OpenSignal, we're going to learn about the Vinton tripod and how to put the camera on the tripod. After taking the tripod out of the bag, you'll want to ensure that the tripod arm is included, and you'll also want to release the tension around one of the legs. Make sure the spreader locks are engaged to ensure that the legs don't slide around once you open it up. The fluid head sits on top of the tripod and may need to be tightened. When stored, this is usually loosened. The back of the fluid head should look like this. This face is your body. The word Vinton should be on the front of the fluid head and faces away from you. If you turn it to the side, you'll see where the tripod arm attaches to. Attach the tripod arm to the side that you prefer. Each leg of the Vinton tripod has two locks to adjust the height of the tripod itself. Let's go ahead and loosen the top set of locks, grab the fluid head, and raise it to the desired height. Once it's raised to your desired height, go ahead and lock the locks again. At this point, we'll want to make sure that our fluid head is level. Once again, loosen that fluid head knob underneath the fluid head and use the built-in leveler to get your camera nice and level. Did I say the word level enough? Next, you're going to want to put the camera on the tripod, but first, let's make sure that there's a tripod plate attached to the bottom of the C100 Mark II. Ensure that the slide plate clamp is loosened and then slide the camera from back to front until you hear a click. Once the camera is secure, make sure to engage the slide plate clamp on the left side of the fluid head. That's where you'll find the pan and tilt knobs. By loosening the top knob, you'll be able to move your camera up and down. The bottom one is for panning left and right. Always lock these knobs when stepping away from the camera. There are two ways to adjust your friction or resistance of the pan and tilt knob. You can adjust both the pan and tilt dials. The one on the back of the camera is for panning. The lower the number, the less friction and resistance. The higher the number, the more friction and resistance. The same goes for your tilt friction adjustment. That's located on the right side of the fluid head. To take the camera off of the tripod, loosen the slide plate clamp, hold the slide lock release while moving the camera from front to back. Congratulations, you're almost ready to film your feature link production. Uh oh, I almost forgot about the lens cap.